I'm thinking 7,500 bucks. <laughs> Come on, 23. It's not cheap to fix a DeLorean. Parts aren't cheap, the repairs aren't cheap. The max I can go is 10 grand. You must be Big Ed. <laughs> you must be Ted. Uh, sure. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, man. Good to meet you. I'm a stand-up comedian. I travel around, I tell jokes. I went down and did the show. They didn't have the money to pay me, and this is what I wound up with. And we had a good time. I'm glad I went, but I got to get a paycheck, man. I'm here for the bucks. They only made about 8,500 of these to start with, which means there's nowhere near 8,500 of them left now. What the heck? What happened here? It didn't happen in my possession. They, they said a tree fell on it. It's really damaged. But you're the master of bringing things back to life. This is a red hot special. Well, let me ask you a question now. How much do I need to pay you for this $5,000 car? <laughs> he is kind of tough, ain't he? There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, it's got a dent in it, but it's a DeLorean. Paint that sucker silver and put you a pair of wool buys on there. Wool buy! Everybody, you could sell it for $30,000. $30,000 silver paint wool buy. If you paint this car, it's worth less than if it's stainless. It's this not is, bad. No, really no, I'm not saying anything, but it's well, thousands you gotta of fix dollars. Because I know I wouldn't, you wouldn't have it sitting on your lot with a dent in it. I know you're going to fix Get it. Get serious you with me, because nice I'm, I'm really interested in buying the car. My gut feeling is that Ed does not want to bring the car home, but he's playing hardball with me. I know a little more about DeLoreans than he does, and I'm going to try to explain about a car. If not, I'll shake his hand and go. You got real bad damage on that side. You told me a number. I'm thinking 7,500 bucks. <laughs> Come on, 23. It's not cheap to fix a DeLorean. Parts aren't cheap, the repairs aren't cheap. The max I can go is 10 grand. The car needs work. Yeah, it's it, it does. It's harder than Joe it, Lewis. It, you can't right. just hammer this out. I'm, so, right. I'm sorry, bro. All right, right here. Let me show you. It'll start. These come with it. 10 grand. You got something you know you're going to sell. You're happy. I'm happy. I get to fly home first class. You, you made a deal. You did, really? Yeah. <laughs> I sold the car. I sold the car. Ten grand, man. Ten grand. I've never flown. I would have got twenty-five hundred dollars out of that show. Oh, wait a minute now. If you'd have done the show and gotten paid, you'd have gotten twenty-five. So instead of this, you took the car and wound up with ten grand. I'm a genius, big boy. I feel like I'm lucky to have started at twenty-five thousand and wound up at ten. When he hit me at twenty-five. I absolutely thought he was taking a shot at me. I didn't think that he thought his cars were 25. He was taking a shot. Hey, maybe Taylor give me 25. But that is not the way it works with me. I'm, I'm in the car business. I'm gonna sell that car and make a lot of money. I'm not worried about Ted. What can I help you with? Are you looking for cars? Or? The last time we came, you know, for the other deal, yeah. we spotted a couple of Beatles, actually. We're looking for fun cars. Fun cars to drive during the summer, to drive in Australia, I don't know. Beetles are great. They are, they Come are, they're really flexible cars. I'll show you some stuff. Well, I got an unusual beetle. You do? Yeah, a very unusual beetle. Wow, this one's funny. It's funny. Yeah, it is. Um, it's totally custom, and you can't tell the front from the back, because back and front have the same thing in the hood. Oh my God, he's got a tail. Is that great? Yeah. It's just a toy car. Yeah. You know, they sell a little wind-up key for the back. You can put it on the back and wind it up, and it spins when you drive it. Over the years, Lou's probably bought 20 cars for me, from Auburns to Rolls Royces to limousines to police cars, all kinds of stuff. Um, he's a very well-known entertainer in his country. Isn't it great? Yeah, this it's one, amazing. Yeah. I spotted that one the other time. Did you? It was, yeah, 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 oh, I did. Cool. I like the color of this one. Convertible. Yeah, it's convertible. That's what I'm looking for. Same owner since uh, like 1986, same family. Oh, I like it. Wow, that's a cool car. This is cool. So you're down to the two convertible VWs, and I want to sell them to you. They're 8,500 each. I know. What would you like to do? Well, since they are convertible, that means, you know, you should be you more have... money. No, because you have less things on it. It's less just things. Like, it's open. You reason like your father. I know I do. I priced them at 8,500, which is pretty fair. Um, I'm sure I can sell them for 75 a piece. I'm sure she'll pay less. But you know, they're really, really close friends of mine. I'm gonna give them the best deal I can without losing money. I'll say 11,000. I would say no. <laughs> okay. I, I think they're 8,500 each. Give me seven a piece, and that's 14,000. That's and I make a little money. Expensive. That's I am here to make a living. Well, if I get them for six 
thousand dollars, it's gonna be a good deal. Like this car, I like timeless. So six thousand is good. Come on, Ted. I know you for years now. I know you since you were born. How about twelve thousand? Look at you. Would that make you happy? Totally. Totally. Yeah. It's yours. Twelve thousand. Mwah. I thought I was going to be harder with Ted, but he's quite easy, actually. Especially when you know him. That's the thing. Honestly, I think she was very, very fair with me. I think we both leave happy. I don't want to, I don't need to, to, to retail her. Her and her dad have bought so many cars, and he's my friend. I'm happy she's happy. It's all good. There you go. This is the pink one. The pink bike is a special homemade bike that I put together in honor of my wife's passing. She died from pancreatic cancer, and I finished it before she died. It's been used in parades, fundraisers for breast cancer, but uh, it's time for me to let go, and it's time for the deal to be done. I like it. What year is this? The uh, motor's a 1999. It's titled as a 2011. Is it a Harley number, H1 HD number? That's no, an important it's thing. A, it's a home built number. It's, it's a Wisconsin title. It's a regular title. That's a 1982 shovel head. I picked that up uh, two years ago. A friend of mine, her husband died from bone cancer and I was gonna make that into another cancer bike. I just don't have the time and energy to do it. I am decided I'm trying to get out of the motorcycle business. Well, it's a pretty bike. Ted, I was thinking about trading you that and this, even up for the truck. I'm going to be delivering them down to you. You don't have to pay for any shipping. I'll take the truck and bring it home, Ugh. straight up. To ship two bikes from Chicago is probably 300 a bike. So he's saving me 600, maybe $700. That's all well and good. But I have a pickup truck. Pickup trucks are gold. They sell well. If I'm going to take those two bikes, I need some boot. I like to get a couple of grand. I'd probably settle on one, but I'm not doing it straight up. In the market that it is right now, the 82 is probably worth $3,500 to $4,000. And then the pink bike is probably worth anywhere to five dollars to $6,000. That's a pretty good even swap for me and a deal for Ted. How I feel the deal is fair is like two grand would work for me. I make some money, I'm good to go. And the reason I won't do it even is because when I sell both of these bikes, they're gonna bring the same amount of money as my truck would bring. And I can sell a truck better than a bike, but because you've, you know, you're a good cat, we met, the bikes are everything you said they are, I'll do it for 1500 bucks. That's as far as I'm going. Uh, I don't know, Ted. That's pretty steep. What about a thousand and a handshake and we'll call it a day? I'm good. All right. A thousand bucks. Cool. Deal's done. I think each one of those bikes will do five to 12 grand a piece. And uh, I'm going to have 1500 in the pair, so I think I'll be okay. <laughs>